let's talk about SD cards and ISO workflow on the Zulu SCSI. Maybe you're familiar with ISO files from VMware, downloading Linux distros, or ripping video games. But even if you've never heard of an ISO file before, I'll show you what they are and how they work with the MPC on the Zulu SCSI hard disk emulator. Instead of storing your data directly on the SD card, the Zulu SCSI holds data in containers called ISO files. They're also known as disk images and they're virtual hard drives that are stored on the SD card. It sounds technical, but in practice, it works the same as saving sounds to a zip disk or physical hard drive connected to the MPC. Think of an ISO file as a snapshot image of an entire file structure, like a clone of a hard drive or a group of files, similar to when you save backups of your iPhone to iCloud to be recovered later. It can be mounted like a USB stick or external drive or cloned to another disk. This is how corporations and schools set up hundreds of workstations to be exactly the same, with the same branding, wallpaper, and software. Plugging in a blank SD card to the Zulu SCSI won't work. It needs to have ISOs of blank hard disks on it. To get your card set up for the Zulu SCSI, either create your own ISO file in your operating system or download one of the ones provided at bootdiskandshield.com. These are your virtual hard disks. Each ISO is a virtual drive and your SD card can hold multiple ISOs. You can use up to six ISOs on an MPC SCSI chain by adding the prefix HD0 through HD6 or HD7 to the ISO file name depending on your MPC. If you're on the 60 or 3000, don't use HD7. And if you're on the 2000 or 2000 XL, don't use HD6. Those SCSI IDs are reserved for the SCSI controllers. A SCSI chain is a daisy chain group of SCSI devices like CD-ROMs or hard drives that work together on one bus. This means you have access to all of them on the MPC and you can switch SCSI devices in the disk menu at any time. By adding your file name prefixes, you set up a virtual SCSI chain on the Zulu emulator. Once you booted the MPC, formatted the virtual disk, and made a batch of beats, you might run out of space on a disk. If that happens, you can change to another virtual hard disk in your SCSI chain and make more beats. For example, go into the disk menu on your MPC. If disk 5 is full, switch to disk 7, and if disk 7 is full, switch to disk 4, and so on. Let's say all of the virtual drives on your SD card are full and you want to archive one and set up a new disk. For this example, let's remove HD5 from the SCSI chain and replace it with a new, blank virtual hard drive. To do this, insert the SD card into your Mac or PC. Copy and paste HD5 to a folder on your computer. I'm going to call this folder Zulu Archives and name the ISO summerbeats.iso. Now if I want to copy it to another SD card or send it to someone to burn to a CD, I can. To make it active on another SD card, Add the prefix HD0, HD1, or HD5 again. It doesn't matter. The HD5 prefix only tells the Zulu SCSI where it sits in the SCSI chain. So if you were loading onto a card that had an HD6 slot available, you would use the prefix HD6, or if it was a brand new card, you might use HD0. The same rules apply if you wanted to copy and paste all of the ISOs from the card. Copy, paste, name, add a prefix where you want it to load in the SCSI chain. You might be a person that uses one card and swaps ISOs in and out, or you might have 25 SD cards full of beats and sounds. It's up to you, and all you have to do is drag and drop. What if you want to access some of the drums you sampled into the MPC and use them in Ableton or keep them in your private stash? To transfer files in and out of the ISO or virtual drive, you need to mount it first. To do this on a Mac, double-click or right-click and select Mount. To do this in Windows, use the app Power ISO. With the ISO mounted, you'll have access to the A partition of the virtual drive. If you are a computer user that wants access to all the individual files, make sure you're saving only to the A partition, because you can only access the A partition on computer operating systems. This is important to note for B makers that like to use partitions A through Z. This will limit how much you can save to the ISO because you're working with a smaller hard drive space, but the sacrifice does allow for computer compatibility. If this is part of your workflow, you might consider using smaller ISO files that don't contain any other partitions besides A. For the 60 and 3000, that would be 29 megabytes, and for the 2000 and XL, it would be 900. Once the drive is mounted, all you have to do is drag and drop your files and unmount the ISO. Get back to making beats. One thing to keep in mind here is that the Zulu SCSI doesn't change the limitations of the MPC's old technology. The max partition size is still the same, but it does give you a modern way of saving, loading, and archiving your files. And make sure if you're setting up a new card, format it to FAT and load your ISOs before using it in the Zulu. A blank card simply won't work. You can download partitions and set up files for free at bootdiskandchill.com. Make more beats.